Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Got a new daily vlog style video for you guys today. And as you can see, I'm home. If you had to guess, you probably know what I'm about to do with these. <laughs> At this moment, I am supposed to be in Hawaii. Due to unfortunate circumstances and the whole COVID mess, I'm no longer uh, going to Hawaii. So that trip is planned. So I decided why not stay home and just go to work. That's really my default mode. What do I do if I'm not on vacation? I just go back to work. So I got my dad over here to help me. Say what's up to Pops. He's coming over Hello. to help me cut and sand. That's why he's got his mask. And we're gonna cut and sand a bunch of dog chews. And here's the current situation in the family room. Making progress on getting rid of some of these sheds, but I'll tell you what, not by much. Like there's still plenty of mess for me to deal with in here, but I think I've got like seven or eight sheds I decided I'm gonna cut up. Thanks to anyone who ordered dog shoes. I've sold everything I've cut up and literally I cannot take the orders fast enough between the DMs, accepting money, organizing them, shipping labels, you name it. So anyways, thanks to anyone who has uh, ordered a dog chew over on my Instagram page. If you guys aren't on Instagram, you can follow me at Eric underscore Chesser. These are all gonna get cut up. So let's see, we've got, you've got two. So dad's got two. Three, four, five, six more sheds we're gonna cut up. Let me show you what we pulled aside out of the stack. Nice little brown, busted up G2. This one's a little bit of a heartbreaker just cause it's a good quality shed. It's a nice solid white six point. Still has some great color. It's really heavy and dense, but as far as like keeper status, it just didn't make the cut. So that one's going. This one's a little bit of a heartbreaker too. I've got the brown set after this white, hard white. But again, it's just the size of shed that I don't need. Trust me guys, I have plenty of these. These are the common size sheds I find, stuff like this. And typically I just sell it to the antler buyer. This one's cool, nice brown. Um, busted Royal, chipped third. So he's going into the cut pile. And then this little guy right here, another nice brown. The fifth is completely gone. Nice burr. Um, a few people have asked me to save burrs. So maybe I'll save some of the better ones in this stack. So that's kind of where I'm at with what we're gonna do. We'll typically take it from the stack, um, run it through the bandsaw, the entire shed, cut it up. Every tine gets cut off. And then I cut them into like, I'd say six to eight inch lengths and then they get organized in size. So jumbo, large, medium, and small. So a couple things, these are just like random stuff I have out here. And then we come by and we hit it with the sander to uh, to just kind of round off those edges. So if it is gonna be used as dog chew, the dog doesn't have any chance of like getting cut. And honestly, it just the final product looks a lot better when it's sanded. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Got a little bit of a mess from my last push that I got out here. Uh, got some nice tines here, those are, People are buying this stuff for dog shoes, knife handles, decorations, you name it. That's kind of where we're at right now. So I'm gonna show my dad how I've been running the saw and he's gonna get to cutting. Another thing I did and experimented with to bring a little value, cause I had a lot of tines left over was take a little extra effort to sand a section, sign it. And then I sprayed it with a clear coat. And I threw these up on my Instagram because a few people have already just um, asked me to sign a tine. So they weren't buying it for a dog chew. They just asked me to autograph them. I'm like, what can I do to make them even cooler? And I think by sanding them down and doing it this way, they look, they look a lot better. And trust me, I have plenty of tine. So, um, I put these five up and they were sold within like five minutes. So anyways, that's another thing I was doing just to try to get creative. So I'm going to take this one and do the same. This is going to be another one. I'm going to do that too. All right, here's the program. I'm giving you all my trade secrets. <laughs> so, take an antler like that. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> and then I go through the main beam and do about seven inch chunks all the way through. And depending on the mass and the size of the, the main beam, I'll categorize it in jumbo. This is the big heavy ones, large, etc. So 
kind of sad to see it go, but you got to chop them up. Stink. <laughs> the smell, the smell is the worst part of doing this, that and the dust. That's why I got a mask on. There it is. And then I've been I've been saving the the bottom base just past the second, so that's usually where I cut it right there. I measure seven inch pieces, which I pretty I'm pretty good at guessing now. That way, when I advertise them to be six to eight, it's somewhere right in the middle. So seven right there. All right, so there you have it. That's that's pretty much the process of just cutting it up. And then from there, I have the decision to make of uh, making a jump. Like this would be a jumbo. I just sand the edges, the edges, and sell it just a jumbo hole, or. I can split it. Now, when I go through and decide which ones to split, I usually like the simple round ones because I can split it right down that and I'll just try to follow that line and split it and sand it. And it's actually more valuable as a split. So this was selling for $30 whole or $20 each as a split. So it takes more cutting time and more sanding time. So it makes sense why it's more expensive, but basically you get a whole bunch of jumbo sizes something like that it could be like a medium I can cut that royal into like a six inch piece and make it a medium hole and then I'd still be left with the small tine what I've learned is basically each one is gonna all come out different not no product is exactly the same but I try to do my best to organize them in sizes so that's kind of the process now we're gonna get dad on the saw and I'll probably sand and we'll just plug these out real quick all right I'm supervisor now I got to see if dad meets quality control just got him set up with this nice brown six point so far. So good. <laughs> Can't really go wrong. Perfect. All right, I need to go get another extension cord so we can run the saw and the sander at the same time because I've just kind of been doing them one at a time. One thing I've really learned that I enjoy on say like the business side of things is I really love like the startup section of it, like what I'm doing now. All the, all the stuff that's kind of the grunt work, shipping, boxing, cutting, sanding, like I love that part of business and yeah, of course, if I want to run with this and make it into a bigger company, I'm going to have to like hire out some of those duties, but I like doing it to start. Definitely. Like I'm having fun. So, um, this, this whole video, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's really just documenting the day as usual, but also sharing some of the, some of the back end business side of this, I guess. All right. We got all sorts of progress going on. I just completed five more of these autograph tines. And I'll tell you what, people seem to uh, like them. So that's cool. People ask, guys, this is a common question above, among my friends or even other people. Like, don't you think it's weird that people want your autograph? Like, yes and no. I guess it's been a long time, so I'm somewhat used to it. But I understand it. I have idols and people that I idolized as a kid, whether they're athletes, um, but most of the highest ones I would rank are in the hunting industry, like Mike Brownlee, Ryan Hatch, Doyle Moss. Man, if I could get my hands on one of their shed antlers that was autographed by them, I still would. <laughs> but those guys would probably laugh at me if I asked for one. But guys, I think it's cool that people appreciate this stuff. Clearly, there's a lot of work that's gone into them. One, going out to finding them. Two, cutting them up, sanding them. Uh, spraying them, etc. So I'm glad that something like that is something maybe 
a kid will open on Christmas and be super happy for. And that smile on his face makes me smile. So just wanted to address that. I think it's weird. I don't know. No, not really. Um, I think it's cool that people value something like that and they want a little piece of an antler that I found. They think that's cool. What? Why would I, why would I not like offer something like that to people if it makes them happy? So anyways, that's where I'm at with those. I love the people that have purchased those. Thank you guys. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Would it be weird if someone asked you for an autograph? It's uh, been that way for me for a long time. So if it makes someone else happy, I'm going to do it. And honestly, you got to ask yourself, why does someone want my autograph? And I think of the people that I would. And those people that I, I would want their memorabilia or maybe their autograph, they have impacted my life positively. So if that's what this means, I hope it is. Uh, that feels good too. So anyways, that's my little two cents on the whole autograph topic for those who care. My dad has finished helping me and, and he bailed out. Shouldn't say bailed out, but he left. I didn't really need him anymore. I just had to start doing shipping stuff, which this is my program. I take my Ryobi box, fill it with the orders and run it to Harmon's where I can ship it through the post office. Um, I get more supplies there, like shipping labels, flat rate boxes, and all that. Usually pick up uh, a dinner or a lunch while I'm there. They have these really good salmon fillets. Get them in a combo meal. So lock that up. But yeah, sometimes like right now where I've <laughs> been doing this for a while today and then I'm about to push the go button on the next batch of dog chews, which is gonna keep me <laughs> crazy, crazy busy. I'm like, why do I do this to myself? So much work. But again, I just reminded myself that I'm trying to help my parents remodel their place. And if you watch the other videos, I've I've told you the quotes I've got are anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars to do the upgrades we want, and I think they're needed. Not only that, it'll be a good investment for the property to uh, have more value anyways. But yeah, this is uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Can't believe the demand for dog chews and those autograph tines, which by the way, all sold like instantly. So we're getting a lot of pictures and videos of really, really happy dogs. And honestly, that brings a little joy to my life. Kind of cool seeing these dogs. They seem to love them. Figured I'd come down to the local shields. This is the sandy location here in the Salt Lake Valley. Not too far from my place, but I'm gonna go in here because they're actually a retailer of the Hush merchandise. So I'm gonna go see what they have in stock. I'm trying to help people on social media find items that may be sold out on our website. So I'm gonna go see what's left, but the place is packed as you can see. So <laughs> there's probably not a whole lot here, but we'll go find out anyways. actually got some decent inventory to be honest smalls large smalls mediums heck I don't even have that one so that's cool who knows if this will still be here when you guys see the video but they just brought out some new hats too so inventory check at the sandy shields come and get you some <laughs> Well, it's 10 p.m. I just filled a bunch more of the dog chew orders. Inventory is nice and organized, ready to go. Got a bunch of people uh, placing orders on my Instagram. So pretty awesome, but it's 10 p.m. I'm tired and hungry, so I'm gonna close shop, which is hard for me to do when the DMs just keep piling in. I'm gonna go ahead and close shop and then uh, go eat some dinner. Getting late, I need a little bit of time to just chill out and relax. It's supposed to snow here, but it hasn't. Um, and it looks like it's pushed out till uh, a whole nother day, which is good because I got my tool still outside, but shutting her down, guys. I'll catch you inside. Good morning, guys. It's the day after. Figured I might as well grab the camera, which I'm on my phone again, and vlog a little bit of today. And that way I can put yesterday and today kind of in one video. 
headed to the gym kind of morning ritual for me um is go straight to the gym this morning i did not go straight to the gym i laid in bed and took orders for dog shoes i don't know what's up with my kitchen sink but like the water even on cold was really warm so i'm gonna get some water out of the faucet <laughs> out here inside of the house I'm trying to drink a lot of water whoa it's always good for you right stay hydrated i've noticed if i don't carry like a water bottle of some sort with me i don't drink water at all especially in the cold so my daily workout routine in the month of december is trying to not gain my winter weight which I'll tell you what as i'm getting older it's getting harder guys i always heard it when i was young but it's true i'm almost 38 years old now it's not as easy to stay lean like it used to be through august and september it is because i'm running and gunning and hunting a lot but with very little activity i'm forced to do it in the gym so 30 minutes of cardio a day and a workout today's going to be chest so i'll go wrap that up and then we'll see what else is new throw it in the vlog edit it and upload it for you guys today plugging away got a whole bunch of new uh what do you call these flat rate bubble envelopes envelopes and the small boxes that's typically what i ship the shoes in i got lucky it actually started to snow and i hadn't put my saw away it was very short-lived lucky for me but there is a black cloud right there and i have to get this stuff put away because the storm is rolling in to salt lake so that's kind of where I'm at, guys. It's just uh, back to the daily grind of doing hush, doing this. Um, I went to the hush warehouse to check out new inventory. Just a heads up for anybody looking to get anything on hush website. New inventory dropped today. So more of these hoodies, which were sold out, a bunch of new hats, and a bunch of new inventory from other items that were previously sold out. So it's the last little push before you can get it for Christmas. So make sure you go to gethushing.com. If you want any of the merch, uh, this is the last batch of dog chews. Most of this stuff is sold, but if you're interested to see what's left, hit me up on Instagram, at Eric underscore Chesser. Um, but for now, I'm gonna check out so I can actually take this video and cut it and upload it for tonight because I still have orders to fill and some work to do. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're just watching the videos and you're unsubscribed, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. I think like 50 or 60% of my views are from unsubscribers, which blows my mind. So help me out. Hit subscribe. We hit 31,000. Thank you guys a lot. We'll see you on the next video.